Speak Student. Welcome to University of Chicago. I'm Phil the Phoenix. You know, like that uh, bird there in Harry Potter? Yeah, the one who randomly bursts into flames. Okay, so I'm not exactly like that. The Great Chicago Fire, totally not my fault. <clears throat> well, in any case, today our tour begins on the quad, where if the weather's right, you might spot a hammock or two. The school-owned hammocks are a favorite for studying, relaxing, or catching some Zs. I've also been banned from using them, uh, after I may or may not have set four on fire. <clears throat> Moving on. We're also a little obsessed with gothic architecture, and don't go assuming anything about our age. We're actually a pretty new school. But even though our doors opened in 1890, our architect was super into that gothic look. And no, I don't mean dark leather trench coats. I'm talking uh, gargoyles. Uh, don't worry, these ones don't actually come to life like in the Disney movies. Usually. <clears throat> We've also got places like Harper Library. If you've ever dreamed about setting foot in the Great Hall at Hogwarts, well, then you got to check out Harper Library. I mean, uh, there are no floating candles, but uh, there are also no dark wizards plotting your demise. Fair trade, I say. And if I haven't oversold the Harry Potter thing yet, well, check this out. When you arrive on day one for your first year, they sort you. Sure, it's 38 houses instead of four, and a fat lady doesn't guard the way in and out of your bedroom, but once you're put in a house, that's where you stay if you choose to live on campus beyond your freshman year, which a lot of students do. Sure, there are those who would rather live out in the real world instead of letting some weather-beaten hat decide their fate, but less than half our roughly 6,000 undergrad students live off campus. I guess the siren call of paying your own rent and making your own meals, uh, well, it's just too difficult to resist for some. Meanwhile, for those interested in Greek life, well, uh, we do eat plenty of Greek yogurt. Okay, fine, I'll give it to you straight. U Chicago's reputation is sorta kinda being the place where fun goes to uh, die. But we have hammocks. Yeah, well, in actuality, we do have a growing presence of fraternities and sororities, but if you're hoping for that wild and crazy frat life you hear about at state schools, well, you're likely gonna be disappointed here. Only one in 10 students belong to a Greek organization, but nine in 10 students enjoy Greek yogurt. Maybe, well, don't, don't hold me to that statistic. But our lack of interest in all things Greek doesn't mean we deserve our reputation for being dull. I mean, we enjoy a good crocheting session as much as the next guy. <laughs> Kidding, come on, we live in Chicago. Chicago, yeah. So when it comes to cutting loose, we know how to do it by hanging out on campus in a basement pub run by the school. You know, that sounded way cooler when I said it in my head. Okay, I'm not really doing it justice. The pub is a long-standing tradition at U Chicago. Between the bar games, the pub grub, and the drinks on tap, the pub isn't a bad way to spend an evening. However, Hyde Park does offer several other nightlife and entertainment choices just nearby. Public transport will get you all over the city if you've gotta get off campus. And you may want to once in a while because uh, that saying about you Chicago killing fun, uh, while not totally true, is founded by the fact that my students are extremely, uh, well, studious. Any talk of you Chicago tends to revolve around our academics and to put it bluntly, in that department, we rock. I could go through all the programs we have that rank inside the top 10 in the nation, but I'm not sure we'd have enough time. Let's just say that US News & World Report has ranked us as the fourth overall finest university in the country. So yeah, we may not be technically Ivy League, but we are what most Ivy League schools aspire to be. So if you wanna go here, you better come with your A game, literally. Have lots of A's. We only accept about 8% of our applicants. Most folks will have a better chance receiving a letter delivered by an owl than getting into U Chicago. But if you do get in, you'll get to participate in the second largest scavenger hunt in the world. See, I'm not all Harry Potter all the time, all academia. Scary Hunt is the annual event here at U Chicago. We used to be first, but uh, those guys at Google are serious one-uppers. Anyway, it may be called a scavenger hunt, but in reality, it's oh so much more. Teams might be asked to run a reverse dog sled race, or they may take part in a WW2 style kissing contest. To get points, you have to be the last couple standing with your lips continuously locked. Or best of all, travel to uh, Augusta, Georgia to get 42 Masters golf balls. Yeah, Scav Hunt is way too big to stay on campus or uh, even in Chicago. And that about wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed our little tour of the University of Chicago as much as I have. We hope to see you. Uh, oh, I hate it when that happens. Anyway, thanks for coming and go Maroons. Whoop.